You're not going to stop till he finds you. I want to read. Don't underestimate my son. That boy will surprise you. I promise you that. He's already surprised me. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about a trailer for episode 9, what to possibly expect if Tariq will ever see his family again, if Afe will snitch, if Lauren will get back to her normal life, and what Diana may possibly find out. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now let's get straight into the topics. Before Sax was shot, he made a desperate statement which I considered as a bluff to stay alive if Tariq is making moves on him. I know where Tasha and Yaz are. And if I die, that information does too. Now, there are different ways Terry can get to his family. One is Sax. The second is Tameka. Now, the third way Terry can reach Yaz and Tasha is through Yaz herself. We remember when Yaz was in the middle of the whole adoption thing and Terry went to her with Lauren, right? He sneaked a burner into her teddy bear so she can reach him. Just make sure nobody sees this phone. Nobody, okay? Yaz never used that banner yet and she sent the teddy bear to her mother. Now, as we all know power, little pieces of things like this will remain on their mood board until they feel the need to use it for a significant twist later. So even if Sax is gone and Tameka also ends up dead, this phone in this teddy bear will be the only hope for Tariq to possibly reconnect with his mother and his grandmother. Let me know what you also think in the comment section. Now, in the trailer for episode 9, we heard Diana saying, Sax says, Sax says Tariq set me up to get arrested. Sax says Tariq set me up to get arrested. She didn't say Sax said. She wasn't speaking in past tense. What could this mean? It could mean that Sax survived for some few moments at the hospital and said something to Diana. Or as at the time Diana was speaking or making this statement, she didn't know Sax was dead. Now we all know Sax didn't tell her Tariq set her up. It could also be a hidden dialogue from the writers when Diana and Sax spoke. Now, we all know in movies, it's not every dialogue the audience are made to hear, but such hidden conversation can be brought back as flashbacks. It could also be that Diana was lying about Sax just to make some moves after suspecting Monet is having something to do with their father's death. Let me know what you also think in the comments section. But now, quick announcement. Power won't be back until next week. They made a post saying we should recover from Sax's death, which I believe only few of you will be recovering from that. As expected, Sax always does this one week break every season, especially when there is a climax episode ahead. So while we wait, let's do some trailer scene breakdowns. How safe is Lauren now that Kane and Ife know that she's still alive? Will she be thrown into Witsec? Will she be in danger if she comes back to her normal life? These are some of the questions I believe most of you ask yourselves as we are approach the season finale. Now, Lauren was made to rat on Braden and she ended up having Kane on the tape. Now, if I must personally answer the above question, I believe Lauren can live her normal life again. Why do I think so? The same Lauren helped Tariq with information on the Rico case they are building against all of them. She was the reason they were able to plan and threw the first off to finding nothing but sugar. Matter of fact, had it not been Lauren's intel, they would have been hit with the Rico. Now, this is the time I feel Tariq can vouch for Lauren and give the Tahadas every reason not to touch her. But we all know there is one Kane Tahara who will make an attempt to look for Lauren to kill. Maybe that will be the way Tariq will set Kane up to go to jail. I think it's logical at this point that the Taharas understand that in as much as Lauren tried snitching, she eventually did them good by giving them the Rico intel. So to me, she should live her normal life moving forward. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, Efe has been arrested and everyone expects her to snitch, but I feel the writers are not going to make her snitch cause that would be too predictable. Now, let's look at Efe's case from legal point of view. Efe tried to kill Lauren, she didn't succeed. There is only one person who is a partial witness and that is Braden. Is there any evidence that Efe tries to kill Lauren? The answer is yes and no. Yes, because Tariq had Ife on tape confessing. That can become a good material to put Ife in prison. Now, no, because between Lauren and Ife, it's their words against each other. Now, does Jenny have any witness ready to testify Lauren's claim yet? I will say no. And also, they don't have any evidence to this claim that Ife tried killing Lauren. So, hypothetically, this case has some potentials to fail unless Tariq brings the recording or Braden decides to testify again and this time implicates himself as an accomplice. That is why we heard Jenny telling them that if she doesn't flip on Tariq or anyone else, 
then they will lose the case. If she doesn't flip, we lose the case. Now, what Jenny and Blanca needs is a witness ready to testify. Now, how else can they break Ify to speak? They may try to play on Ify's mind by telling her that Braden is willing to testify against her if she doesn't cooperate. They may narrate how Braden transferred Lauren to her that night. And they may also say Braden is used to testifying in court by blaming himself for selling drugs so he can easily give her up. And also for the fact that he is a Western and might not end up in jail. But she, Efe, is an orphan and will rot in jail with no family visits. This might put Efe in deep fear and dilemma. If Kane comes forcing her to flip on Tariq, she might not do so because at this point, Braden is her bigger problem and not Tariq. So Efe might tell Kane to go after Braden and put some fear into him so he won't testify against her. And I believe Braden will be shocked as to when he ever said he was willing to testify against Efe. Now, if Braden is not lucky to play smart, Kim might put a bullet in him. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about this below. So for me, I think this case might not stick until that recording comes out and you know Tariq owes that to Lauren. Now, if Lauren wants Efe gone and they are still not getting any evidence, she might put Tariq in a difficult space to release the recording since she held him with the Rico Intel. And it will be only fair for Tariq to return the favor to Lauren when she is in need. Now the question is, will Tariq give out the recording? And if he does and if he goes down for this, will Lauren ever be free or live a normal life without looking over her shoulders? I guess not. Now, who has the power to save Lauren from potential death and Ife from going to prison? Tariq. If I am Tariq, the best option here is to negotiate with Lauren, Ife and Kane. How? By telling Ife and Kane to leave Lauren alone and never try killing her again. Then he will keep the recording from the feds. Tariq can even use that recording to request for No Man's Child's picture from Ife as well. Then Tariq will negotiate with Lauren not to insist on giving the recording to the feds so that Ife or Kane will leave her alone to live her normal life again. He can make Lauren understand that Efe and Kane are together now. So even if Efe goes to prison, Kane will come after her and make sure she dies for what she did. Tariq can save the day if he uses this recording wisely. Then I believe Lauren will live her normal life and come back to class. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about this. If you think Efe will snitch or keep it together like Diana did. Now moving on, one thing I find interesting about the Tahares, especially the parents, is that they seem to always ask their children to look for something that they are responsible for and they end up finding things on them instead. Now Lorenzo asks Kane to look for Zeke's killer and we all know what he discovered. Monet too is seen asking Diana to look for some evidence on Terry if he truly set her up to be arrested. I feel Diana will end up finding the police report that says that Lorenzo's prints were at Zeke's crime scene. Diana will be wondering why this report was with Monet and she never said anything about it. She might approach Kane and Kane will confirm to Diana what happened. So I strongly feel that because of the bond between Diana and Lorenzo, the writer should make Diana discover first that Monet set her father up to die. She will also tell Kane that their father went out again after Monet wasn't back from the mission. Make sure you and your brother stay here. Don't go out for anything. I'll be back. When Monet said she got rid of the police file, I feel she didn't. Maybe she probably gave it to Tariq to get rid of and Tariq decided to keep it for a reason. Or maybe she probably kept it to frame someone in case something goes wrong. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about this. Now, the Castillos are coming after Drew. I have a feeling the Tahades set the Castillo brothers up, possibly killed them in their bar. If you look closely to the stool in the trailer, it's similar to what Evelyn has in her bar. So I have a feeling the Tahares will sweep the remaining brothers and Kane's original idea to kill all of them will come to play. Let me know what you also think in the comment section about this. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get notified on my next video. Like, share and most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.